Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be going through Act 6.3, and this is the final quest. Yes, we are almost done with the initial clear of 6.3. And I'm going to show you the path that I chose. I thought this was the easiest path, at least for me. Now, you want to evaluate all of these paths based on your roster and your skill set. All right, so you can see we've got Caltrops, we've got Plague Mine, Static Blast, Cool It Lake. Um, so you don't want to bring any robots on this path. All right. Now, if you can bring a bleed immune champion, you'll have a pretty decent time on this path. I chose, of course, Ghost. Now, Ghost is not bleed immune, and that's going to be important later on because what ghost does is when she does get a bleed debuff she can phase and convert it she also takes no damage while she is phased because i have hood on my team but what happens if you go to attack him and you hit into his block he was a little fast or you were a little slow and you hit into his block now you're not phased and you have to hit him in order to remove that precision and so that you can phase again. Well, if you're not careful, you're gonna be unfazed, you're gonna have a timer so that you cannot phase right away, and if you start backing up to get away from him, you're gonna pick up all of those bleeds, and they're gonna be doing a number on you. Yeah, you saw me, I just checked to make sure I was actually recording. I get a little nervous based on all of the tech issues that I've had in the past. All right, but as you can see, none of the defenders so far, none of the champions we're fighting are very difficult, okay? Now, if you're fighting with Ghost against Drax, he has that double hit, just like Stealth Spidey, just like Domino, and you need to wait until he gets that second one and then attack all right but other than that quite easy all right you see where i got that bleed debuff for a little bit but i was able to phase it out after i hit him but it still did a little damage so you have to just be conscious of that when you take ghost on caltrops but omega red does a very good job on this path on caltrops in general so if you have an Omega Red, take him. Uh, as I said, you don't want to bring a robot. Uh, if you didn't read that coolant link uh, leak, what happens when you bring a robot is, yes, they're immune to bleed, but if they would receive a bleed debuff, they'll get incinerated instead. So if you bring a robot, and I've had this happen to me, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to bring in Guillotine 2099. She's a robot. Awesome way to showcase her. I get in there, first fight, and I'm just getting wrecked. I'm going, what in the world? What, what happened? Where's this incinerate? Hadn't read the node. So do not bring a robot. Now, this guy here gave me some trouble. All right, you see how he's just evading and moving quickly? Well, that's going to be a pain literally especially on caltrops as i was telling you earlier she's not exactly immune see look at those bleed debuffs okay and i'm not quite familiar with his animations yet all right see there's a bleed debuff but that time he uh he's just moving very quickly he's reacting very quickly and it's just eating me up bit by bit all right there's more bleed i got three debuffs of bleed on me all right but we converted him to furies and we were able to get him down i actually tried this path i believe maybe twice the first time i encountered him he beat me with ghost because of what you just saw i don't know what it was but he just seemed to be pretty quick and all it takes is a few mistakes and then I'm trying to back away from him picking up those bleed debuffs which really really hurt as you saw 
can't phase until I actually hit him or until my buff goes away. So yeah, I ended up uh, just healing up a little bit. And just see, look at this. Look at all that bleed. And see, when he turtles up like this, nothing I can do. All right, so I wasn't able to hit him. He got some bleeds on me and then he started blocking. So I couldn't hit him. So I couldn't get that off of me. Very annoying. If I had not healed up, this fight would have been over already. So that's why I healed up because I could see how things were going. So just something to bear in mind. Now, I'm not the best ghost player, obviously. Uh, so maybe some ghost players can leave comments and they may have some suggestions if you're planning to use ghost. But this is what I was able to do and I was able to at least get through it. Now I'm also running suicides, so I have to be careful to phase out that recoil or else I'll be taking damage. All right, so next up, we have got Gwenpool. She's very easy to fight. Both her specials are easy to evade. Uh, you can see now why I'm healing up my ghost. If you play in a normal situation perfectly you shouldn't take any damage with ghost but other than block damage you can see how you can easily get a bleed debuff on you all it takes is for the computer to react faster than normal or for you to react just a little slow and have them block now every time you back up you're going to be having a bleed debuff until you can hit them in phase and get rid of it. All right, so just bear that in mind if you're playing with Ghost. But you do have some other options. And you're going to see me, I do not use Ghost all the way through. All right, we're going to bring in a favorite. Well, he's not one of my favorites yet, but he's a new champion that I recently took up. No regrets. Uh, so... For the moment, we've got to get past this Gwenpool. And as you can see, as long as she's fighting aggressively, like you see there, we're fine. When you play with Ghost, you need the AI to be aggressive. They know this. So when the AI plays passively, it messes up your gameplay. All right. And there we go. We got her down. So not too difficult, but you can see I still lost quite a bit of health. So now, next up, we have got Carnage. Now Carnage, when you're bleeding, his specials are unblockable, and as long as he's awakened, he also gets a power gain. So look at who I brought in. There will be no power gain for you, Mr. Carnage, because Colossus, is immune to bleed as well as incinerate and armor breaks if you're not a tech champion and all that good stuff um, he still gets poisoned but we don't care about that so here we are with some colossus gameplay when i took him up after his rework a lot of people were like no way that was a mistake i beg to differ uh now i told some people that if I had a choice between taking him up and Domino, I would take him up. And they said, you're crazy. Well, the reason that I would do that is because of his immunities. That's what I needed. I already have a lot of damage dealers. It doesn't mean that Domino is not as good of a champion because I don't think of him that way. They both serve different purposes. And when you need these immunities, then Domino won't do. But if you're looking for some damage, then Domino rocks. But I have damage dealers. I've got Ghost, I've got Corvus. You know, I've got Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. But other than Ghost, who else would I bring in for this particular path? You know, so there are other paths, of course, that I could take, but for this path, I knew I had these champions. I had Ghost and I had Corvus. I mean, uh, Colossus. Hey, they both start with a C. But Corvus could also do okay on this path. I was 
using him in Alliance Quest, so he wasn't available. Um, but Corvus, as long as he has those Glade charges, is bleed immune. So, um, well, not bleed immune. He takes no damage from bleed. So he would actually heal up as long as he has those Glaive charges and you have willpower. He will actually heal up. So he actually will do just fine on this path as well. But didn't have him use him in AQ. So I had to make do, but not a big deal. So now we're going to deal with Nick Fury. Now, Nick Fury was probably the most annoying boss only because of my second run at him where I don't know what was going on, but just nothing worked right. My first attempt was fine. You know, we didn't get a one shot, but that's okay. The second attempt, I think I used seven revives on him. I don't know what was going on. Things just were not lining up or something. All right, so I don't like fighting Nick Fury, but the trick to fighting Nick Fury, you've got this first life when he's awakened. So all that we're doing here is trying to bring out the real Nick Fury because we're fighting a decoy at this point in time. So if we can do that, then during his second phase where you have the real Nick Fury, he's got other attributes. I think he, um, uh, what is it? Uh, with Ghost especially, uh, her miss, he's not gonna miss. So. That's annoying when you're fighting him with Ghost. But on the plus side, he's going to get a degen that will degen him all the way down to 30% of his health. So you can basically dance around and do some damage. Just let that degen take him out or take him down low and then you go in. All right, so what you see me doing here is standard Colossus uh, parry heavy. All right, and here we go. He's not unblockable, thankfully. Uh, that's another benefit to not hitting him a lot of times. All right, so here we are. This is the real Nick Fury out, and you see that D-Gen. Look at the damage that he's taking. So I'm just fine just dancing around at this point, even if I don't kill him here he's gonna go down to 30 percent and i'll be able to bring someone else in and finish him off all right so that's really the trick to fighting him you don't want to hit him a whole lot of times because he will go unblockable i forget the uh, tactical charges i forget how many uh something like 10 or 15 uh where he will go unblockable and then that special one gets devastating all right so we pushed him to a special two because that's so much easier to evade. All right, and here I am, I backed off a little bit. And let me see, he's got, yeah. See, once he got past 14, so it must be like 15 tactical charges, but I was able to push him to a special two, but he's unblockable at this point. But that gave me my opening. I go back in and we finish him off. So that's basically how you wanna fight Nick Fury. However, that Nick Fury boss was just annoying. It's the same way. You still have to fight him that way, but oh, that second one was so annoying. All right, so I took a little breather, and now we're going to face this Symbiote Supreme. Now, Symbiote Supreme, as long as you're not going in there with someone that has a lot of buffs, he's not that bad at all. Uh, the first time I fought Symbiote Supreme... I fought him with Corvus and almost got one shot. The only reason I didn't is because Corvus was awakened and could not die while he had those charges up. Otherwise, I would have walked in and immediately died. I had uh, full charges and he nullified them right off the start and I got all that damage and it would have taken me out. Now, one of the pluses to fighting Symbiote Supreme is that he's not gonna gain power from you hitting him. So you can really go all out. And he, he does have a little passive power gain, um, unlike Doctor Strange. 
all right but look at this he is not a problem whatsoever for ghost all right she's just ripping him apart very easy fight compare that to the last fight that we just had against nick fury no comparison much easier all right now we're gonna fight blade so blade with the nose that we're dealing with can be challenging so we're going in with ghost again i decided to heal up a little here you know i'm not using those potions for anything really so may as well use it for this uh content here and we go in and we're going to basically do him up ghost style okay that's the plan now keep in mind we still have to deal with you know all these other nodes that we're you know the caltrops is still here all right and here we go now that right there is what makes him so difficult for me all right so i couldn't punish that the way that i wanted to and all he has to do is block or evade and now i'm caught out there unable to phase and getting those bleeds on me all right so just a little annoying but you know we're doing all right we're still doing okay here but there he goes doing that again now i've got three bleeds i can't hit him all right finally hit him and dashed i shouldn't have finished the, that combo but i was trying to do as much damage as possible to him all right and here i'm just doing the one hit but that special one man and see right there i messed up what i was trying to do i was trying to push myself to the special two i was like i almost got the special two and then i would dash hit the special two but i delayed just slightly because i saw that and i was like should i do it shouldn't i do it okay i'll try it but i delayed gave him time to block and it was over with all right so now we've just brought in colossus to clear it up and then i still got hit like that and i'm like wow okay i shouldn't have taken that much damage but okay we got him down very ugly fight should not have been that difficult let me tell you um but i just scrubbed it up now we come to the boss the final boss now let me tell you guys something before we start this fight you see that ronin down there there's a reason i brought him to cheese this fight so you can see crit me with your best shot you've got destructive feedback okay that can be very annoying right there and you've got unlimited power all right now um you can read the rest of the debuffs there the electric fluctuations all that good stuff but you should be able to cheese this fight uh that final buff surging vengeance means that you can sort of time it a little bit before he gets his special three so my plan here was to go in with everybody else hurt him as much as i could and then bring in ronin and cheese the fight i've seen the cheese it works it works great except if you're me i am not allowed to cheese fights it seems and you'll see what i mean when we get to that point all right so here we are you know he's not going to fire that special one off uh if he's already fired it off which he did i believe now i could have waited and baited out the special two and probably should have but i didn't and i'm just like you know what i'm just trying to get this over with do as much damage and and you know get to the cheese and i said all right let's do it you know it's taking a while i just want to cheese this fight so the thing with ronin is that the more buffs the opponent has the harder he hits and the longer his stun lasts okay so as long as you can get to a special one you're golden so let me tell you what i did wrong in this uh fight here all right 
So remember that you have surging vengeance. All right, I should not be trying this right now. So don't think that the cheese method doesn't work well or anything like that. This was me not doing what I should do. So surging vengeance means he's gonna fire off his specials in order. One, two, and then three. So you have time for him to build up a lot of buffs. I didn't give him any time to build up his buffs. So my stun did not last very long. Okay, this was my fault. And because he can glance, when you go for a stun, if you're glancing, well, you saw what happened. Okay, uh, so what you wanna do, do as I say, don't do as I did, but you wanna push him to a special one. Bait that special one out. Then you wanna push him to a special two. Bait that special two out. By this time, he's gonna build up a lot of buffs so that your stun is gonna last a crazy long time. Then finally, when you build him up to a special three, you should be able at that point in time to fire off a special one or two, depending on what you've done before that, stun him, and that stun will last a very long time. Okay, so that is what you want to do. What you see me doing here was opposite to that, and it's not gonna work, all right? But at the time, I wasn't thinking about that, and I just was trying to get to my special as fast as possible and fire it off, thinking that that would work, but what messed me up, <laughs> besides getting hit with a special two, even though I was trying to bait it, um, what messed me up was failing to account for the glancing and the fact that I wouldn't be able to just stun lock him because of that. I needed to have a lot of buffs on him so that my stun lasted long enough so that when it glanced and didn't work, I would still be able to build back up to another special one before the stun wore off. So what I decided at this point, uh, cause I got a little tilted and I'm just like, you know what, it's just not gonna work um, because I wasn't doing it properly. Uh, I just decided to brute force it with ghost. Okay, so that's all I'm doing here. I don't care how many revives it was gonna take me. Uh, I wasn't trying to bait out his specials. As you can see, I'm just going all in, okay? Not the best way to do that with the Surging Vengeance, but again, when I was fighting, I didn't take into account what Surging Vengeance meant to my uh, gameplay. Now, what happened there, after a special three, I get a little disorientated, all right? And, uh, disorientated, uh, disoriented, because with Ghost, I have that timer in my head. However, a special three throws that timer off. So I'm like, okay, uh, how much time do I have left? I phased just before the special three. Do I have time for him to attack me once? Or do I need to back off? And that indecision gave him a chance and you could see I was trying to back off and he got me. All right, so here we are going for it again and she's putting in that work okay uh if you play better than i did with ghost uh you shouldn't have too much of a difficulty here all right you see how now um he fired a special one then he fired a special two and i'm able to do much better doing that now i know that he's gonna fire his special three at this point no other special is going to be fired by him until that special three. So I've got all that time. You know, sometimes I do multiple combos. Uh, not everybody does that. Now, what happened there? I actually slowed this down. I remembered that. I cannot tell you whether I just went in a little slow or he reacted a little fast and attack me because he basically did like a light intercept uh, uh, on me and all this time it was working but 
did the AI change its timing just slightly to throw me off like that? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. At this point, I was just like, whatever. Another revive item use, I believe was on. So let's just get her done, uh, use up them items. And after all of this, by the way, I didn't use any units at all. And I still had about 10 revives in my overflow. So this was a great chance to use up some of my stash, get some item use points. Um, I did end up at the top of the item use uh, board and just get this content done. Now, when I go back through uh, and do exploration, that will be interesting. We'll see how much my stash is left and uh, we'll find out at that point in time because I'm gonna go as far as I can go while I have the energy and then just slowly do a path here or there, uh, not trying to do it you know, in one sitting. Uh, that way, uh, it should be a little bit easier on my stash. All right, so uh, we're getting them down. You know, it's a longish fight. You see how I did like zero damage? Yeah, it's all good, <laughs> you know? Um, this is what makes Captain America Infinity War so good when you're fighting with him and so annoying when you're fighting against him. All right, he's got a high block proficiency. He glances, and thanks to uh, the nodes, you know, some of your attacks, just not gonna do anything. So um, we're getting him down though. See, look at that, nothing, nothing whatsoever. All right, and I'm just like, come on. You know, this fight is already dragging on long enough. So I got a little intercept, you know, getting some crits in here. So at least we're, we're chipping him down. Now, can you imagine if he also had arc overload? Oh my goodness. See, nothing there. So now again, we're at the special three and I was able to phase. I have hood, so did uh, took no damage. All right, so this time he wasn't aggressive. And so I'm like, okay, at least I got some breathing room here. You know, I'm at 1%. Let's do this. Intercepted him. Still, look at it, no damage. All right, there, we've got a crit. You know, that crit me with your best shot, very annoying. No damage unless it's a crit. But thanks to the glancing, some of your attacks are not gonna be crits. And Ghost, especially, she doesn't crit normally. All right, so, you know, we're still here, 1%. Can we do this? You know, I'm just like, okay, hadn't been doing well all this time with Ghost. So should I be able to make up this time? You know, all the bad times, I'm gonna try. All right, there, he was aggressive again, but I was phased. I'm in the corner, boom, came out. Came out like a wrecking ball. Couldn't get my special two off but that's okay, I just wanted that special three to make him get off me. I do not like being in that corner, let me tell you guys why I don't like Quake. All right, so there we go, he fired off his special one. All right, we're still going. Come on, bring it, wham, 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 nothing. Bring it, ooh, nope, no crit. Bring it, ha, nope, no crit. Again, ha, special two, got him. One crit, ha. Huh. And that, my friends, is the end of Act 6.3. Wow. So that's gonna do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was my initial clear. And I hope this helps you out in your initial clear. So take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.